So under my testing today, I bring you as of right now, the four best dungeons to farm for the XP that also offer amazing loot. You can use these after the latest patch, the nerf to the dungeon elite density. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So in my opinion, judging by the testing I have done, there are four dungeons you can still use for great XP gains. No, I haven't tried every single dungeon. These are dungeons I've probably covered in the past or used in the past. Knowing that they are great for XP, I've tried them again, post nerf, and they're still incredible for the XP. Now to keep things short for players who know the locations, we have Blind Burrows, Carnell's House, Ironhold and Alder's Cave. These are the dungeons if farmed efficiently will earn you amazing XP. Now for me it seems there wasn't really one spot which stood out among the four, but all seemed great one way or another. So firstly guys, let's check out Blind Burrows. Now this is a farm I have covered in the past, but it's still a great great farm. It still earns you tons of XP and it's located right here on the map. So this dungeon is home to many, many groups of spiders. You may remember this one. Small ones, big ones, you name it. We also have other enemies in here too. Now what's great about this farm is the fact you can easily group up massive amounts of enemies and slay them all at the same time, making it way more efficient on yourself. This can also be achieved real easy solo too. Now I would recommend you cover every corner in this place as it's really easy to miss groups of enemies. Or even worse, you may miss one of those events. It might be hiding. These I always recommend you taking part in because it's just easy XP and loot drops. Now I don't normally do the boss within this place as it takes time away from me resetting this dungeon and run this thing over, but that's your choice. The boss you'll be able to slay pretty quickly though. Okay, so next up guys, we have the classic Iron Hold. This one I feel will always be a great farm because of the amount of enemies that just group together. But I will say, although once you get to the part of this dungeon which is great for the XP, this one is semi let down by the first section of this dungeon, where you are in reality just trying to progress. So efficiency wise, it's a little slower maybe than the others, but it's still a great, great farm either way. So it's located right here on the map. And upon you entering this place, you first have to search and slay the Spectre enemy to get that key to progress. The enemy is normally located top right, so run past all the enemies and straight to him. Once this key is obtained, you are then ready to progress uh, through the door and onto where that goodness happens. So once you progress, run past all the stragglers and straight into that couple massive groups of enemies that will be waiting here for you. Also, if you come across any event, make sure you do them. Okay, so next up guys, you have Carnal's house. So this place can be located right here on the map and again, is a great, great farming spot. Me personally, it's probably the least I have used, but I will be taking advantage of this over the coming days because it's probably one of the best here. So this dungeon is again home to tons and tons of enemies. The first part requires you to release prisoners. Here I recommend you running past any stragglers and straight into those larger groups because the stragglers normally just follow. Then progressing onwards and releasing prisoners and progressing further on into this dungeon as you will come up against many, many groups of enemies. This one is again really efficient if you can slay enemies quick enough and is one of the better dungeons I haven't seen many people talk about. Okay, so lastly guys, we have Alder's Cave. So this dungeon for me was probably the best of the bunch. If I had to pick one to farm from all of these, it'd probably be this one. Now I know efficiency all depends on builds, etc, etc. This one just seemed like it was just giving me and earning me more than the others. So this dungeon can be found right here on the map. Now upon you entering this place, going into this dungeon, it sometimes can start a little slowly, but then it just seems like there's groups of enemies behind every single corner. So just take them all out, people. Now in regards to elites, every dungeon today has seen changes, but I feel Blizzard have made up for said changes with possibly adding more normal enemies. And I think this will be the standard eventually when it comes to farming dungeons. It's always the elites that get hit because they offer the most. And post this nerf, I do feel it. But it doesn't mean that farming dungeons is pointless now. It really ain't. All four dungeons today will earn you great amounts of XP if farmed right. On the other hand, if your build isn't strong enough, they in turn can feel pointless to do. This is where I'd recommend you farming those Haltites. They also give you amazing XP gains, as well as some great, great loot from those tortured chests. 
So yes, my beautiful people, four great dungeons, still amazing for the XP post nerf. Use them while you can, because who knows what Blizzard will do next. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.